Mom always said it. there's an awful lot you can tell about a person by their shoes. Where they go. Where they been. And that ain't no lie. Yo, Gumpy was onto something on here. And I want people when they see you to tell one thing about you. That is one stylish, good looking ass dude. That's all I want. That's all I want. I swear. And seeing as Air Force Ones are one of the best selling sneakers of all time, and rightfully so, there is a lot of reasons why you shouldn't wear them and a lot of mistakes that occur when you do wear them. So if you are going to wear them, today boys, I'm going to show you five mistakes that occur when you wear them and what you should do instead. So you dudes can look like one sexy ass, stylish ass looking dude. Let's hop into it. Number one, lacing them. Look, there's a lot of sneakers that look terrible when you tie them super tight. Air Force Ones are at the top of that list. Look, if you want to send a loud message that you just want to ruin your style and you want to give a big F you to the world that you could care less what they think, do us all a favor and just squeeze the crap out of your Air Force Ones. <sighs> okay, now that it's just me and my stylish brothers, please don't do that. Yo, when you wear your Air Force Ones, you want the laces to be nice and loose. These aren't athletic training shoes, so you're not going to be sprinting in them, and it's okay if they're a little bit loose. The trick here is that whatever string left off to the sides, you can cross over across your shoe and stick it through the last eyelets and leave about one to two inches hanging out. There's a more casual approach, it's very relaxed, and it makes the forces look better. Number two, wearing skinny fit or relax fit with your forces. Look, while the skinny cut with the stacked aesthetic will always work, it's a safe approach, I feel it's a little bit played out. If you're a real one, you're gonna wear your forces with the fuller cut, something more relaxed. You still want the pant to be cut to a no break look so you're not just engulfing your Air Force Ones. However, you want the cut or the fit of the pant itself along your leg to be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more classic. When you do this correctly, you're gonna look more trendy. You're gonna look more stylish and therefore you're gonna look different than how the majority of the crowd styles these. Also, PS, little side note, always wear socks with these. For whatever reason, no-show socks just seem very 2014 in my opinion. Number three, don't fall into the mold. Yo, everyone wears Air Force Ones, or at least has worn them once in their lifetime. Therefore, it can get really boring. It can get robotic really quick. It's gonna, you're gonna look cookie cutter with your style if you wear them like everybody else. In other words, try not to pair them with jeans. Try, try something a little bit different. For example, here, I matched them with our Essentials Aloe Vera pants. These are the ones we just dropped in our last collection, which are the coolest, not only cool as like, yo, th those pants look cool. No, like cool as in the breeziest pants you'll ever wear. They are made with an aloe fabric that you'll never experience. And yo, these things outperform. Before I keep going, can I just, I always like after every collection, just give a massive thank you to my audience. Um, this collection was amazing. Remember how I predicted about a million people to hit the site? I was a little short on that. I'll pull up the exact number right now. Oh. Okay, if I count a week worth of traffic, it's about a million, 93,000 people hit our site. Just look at that number. Do you see that? A million, 100,000 people hit the site. That's unique visitors, not repetitive visitors. Do you understand how much traffic that is? Yo, I can, I only feel gratitude. So. I was thinking, you guys did amazing. Like, you guys did so amazing, I gotta give something back. We're gonna do two giveaways. Two massive giveaways. I asked you guys already, if you follow me on my YouTube stories or on my Instagram, which you should if you're not following, I asked you what you guys wanted. Did you guys want the Jordan 1 Dior's, which retail for about 17 G's, or 15K cash? Most of you said 15K cash, but I low-key already had bought the Jordan 1 Dior's because I was gonna give you guys that anyways and they just came in, they cost me an arm and a leg. They're sexy as hell. They're probably only gonna go up in value. Some people are projecting these to go 20, 25 by next year. 25,000 for a pair of shoes. I'm gonna give them to you just for the amount of support you guys gave us for this last collection. So, basically how we're gonna do the giveaway, anybody that purchased already on Essentials to enter, I wanna see you how you wear your Essentials. 
I want to see your most stylish fit and I want you to tag Essentials at it because that's how I'll be able to see it. So I want you to post whether it's on your stories or an actual post. You need to use hashtag Essentials because that's the only way I'll be able to see it. If you do, you're automatically entered Obviously, you have to be wearing, and you could have bought in previous collections too. So if you bought collection one and you have an essentials piece, wear it with other, I don't care how you style it, style it however you want to style it, whether that's on TikTok, on Instagram, on, I don't care where you post it, put hashtag essentials, we're going to look at it, we're going to pick the final contendants, yeah, by next week, that means next week Sunday, we're going to pick a winner to give these shoes completely free to you guys. Yo! This is insane. You guys are awesome. And honestly, boys, again, thank you. This is, this is our largest collection that we've ever bought. And trust me, I know the frustration that we always sell out on our popular items or popular sizes. I promise you, I'm not buying on low bulk. Like I'm, I genuinely want the store to be open all the time. This collection, we bought millions, we always buy millions of dollars, but this was the largest buy we've ever done. And I'm only going to keep expanding because I want there to be enough for everybody. The point is, boys, the point is, this was an amazing collection. If you guys want sexy pants, though, if you guys want to enter the collection, you can still purchase. Essentials link will be down below if you want to buy any new product like our Essentials Aloe Pants like you saw in this fit to not only, well, elevate your style and try a fabric that you'll never try in any other brand and try a fit that's better than any, anything you'll ever find, but also, well, you can enter this giveaway if you want to show us your most stylish fit. If you guys want to check out Essentials or the giveaway, like I said, all details will be linked down below. Number four keep them clean yo there are some shoes that just look dope with some character let's like your vans right your converse even your stan smiths your air forces are not one of those shoes you just look bad you look like a hobo you look like you could care less about your style air forces should always be crispy and clean which means you need a cleaning kit on deck anytime you wear them you see them starting to get dirty clean them up you're always going to look more stylish and number five yo this is one of my pet peeves with air forces they just crease way too easy honestly i, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist or anything but it's almost like it's too easy to crease almost like nike purposely designed in this way so you could just constantly be replacing them i don't know i don't know i ain't gonna blame nike for anything but what i'm saying is that these these shoes crease abnormally fast so Here's a trick to make them last longer. Nike, do not hate me, but I have to save my boys some money. What you want to do to stop replacing them all the time, buy wooden shoe trees. You see, wooden shoe trees, you can get them from Amazon for like 20 bucks. And what they do is after every time you wear your shoes, you stick them in, it stretches out the leather back to its original state. The wood also absorbs any moisture, which weakens the leather of your shoe, which again, can easily damage it when you wear it the next time. But if you put wooden shoe trees, you restore the leather, absorb the moisture the next time you wear them, they're nice and fresh, and you reduce wrinkles. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget, if you guys want to enter the giveaway, you guys can shop essentials, show us your, your freshest fit. But that's it for me today. See you next time.